Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use relative date in a domain report created in JasperSoft Studio. Jasper report has a special feature that can allow user to enter relative date to select their report data, such as yesterday, today, seven days ago. Therefore, give you the flexibility to run a particular report relative to their report jobs execution. And the relative date has a special format. It's not a Java date format, but rather is a date format you have to use in your parameter. And this is the date format. Date range for the date and the timestamp for the timestamp range. Okay, so now let's go to our report design to look at it. So I, I already have a report with the layout. Uh, what you need to do is to basically create a parameter to have the date range in order to accept the relative date format. The parameter name, pay attention, is you need to use a Java-like um, parameter name. You cannot make this one like English-like, for instance, have a space in it. Otherwise, this report will, com will compile, but during the runtime, when you try to enter the relative date, you will get an error on the JavaScript for server side. So just remember, don't use spaces in your parameter name. OK, now we have the parameter defined. Let's inject it into this report query. This is a domain query. I already have a field selected, and this is the parameter I want to. This is the field I want to use relative parameter to filter the value. So come here to do a filter. Relative date, you have to select a range, cannot be equal. And the from date, right click on select parameter, create a new parameter. Start. This is internal parameter, so the name don't have to be really elaborate. Okay. For the start, we want to go to our relative date parameter. Okay, but we want to use the starting point and pay attention. This is the date, the type for this one. Okay. Click on OK for the end date. Do the same thing. Parameter. Give a new name as end and the default value we are getting from this parameter field but the end date okay so now we have two parameter internal parameter start and end click on okay you can see these filter selection criteria is injected it's in between beginning and end date so now we are ready to publish. But before we publish, make sure those two parameters are internal parameters. We don't really want to publish it. OK. So now everything is fine. Now publish the report. Save it. Say to the hard drive, public, uh, compile it. Want to make sure so it's compiled. I want to make sure report works before we uh, publish to the uh, server to run it. Okay, now let's publish. Publish to the repository, and I already have a folder to host all my wiki related items, and uh, the date is for. Let's make sure I don't have any. Okay, so don't have anything complex with the current name. Okay, so get my report. This is info control. Yes, and this is domain. Yes, click on OK. Finish. You can see the report itself and its info control relative date is deployed. So now let's log into just report server to test it. This report will list all the user who has the passwords changed on a given date. So before we run this report, let's make a minor change. Remember the input control. We want to make it look nice. 
nicely. Okay, so put a space in there, so the label looks more like English rather than a Java name. Okay, save this thing. So we have the label correctly uh, placed, and also I want to have the input control in page, so easy for us to uh, inspect the report. On the report, you can see the date and uh, today, because I know I have two user password changed today one is super user another one is uh, demo user let's apply it here you have it super user demo user with today's date just to make sure we can also try the date format today you get the same result so there you have it this basically show the steps to create relative dates in a domain report Okay, the information you can find with the relative date is in Jasper Studio User Guide under section 6.3.4. Okay, so you can review this thing after uh, watching the video to get more information from it. Also, we have an online copy of the same report, and this is the URL under this section. So let's go to that page. To show you how it looks like. So this is a community website. So this is a page. Scroll down, you can see the relative date section. So all the information uh, are all uh, listed here. So that concludes my video. So let's give a try and happy testing. And uh, also thank you for watching.